Hey there, everybody, it's in the whole universe. I hope everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experience. And today we're going to talk about the information processing of the text as a means of forming the communicative competence of students. Wow, I said it. Do I understand it or is it, or is it elvish for you? Okay, let's, let's talk about it. We'll talk about the GRR Tolkien 2. And uh, what is it, guys? First of all, I want to say that it is my tomorrow's presentation. Tomorrow I will present it to the people who will be sitting down on their chairs. It will be rows of different uh, <laughs> chairs and also some of the tables and they will be sitting and uh, I will be presenting to them and we will be, we will have, we will be on the methodology of pedagogy of Russian language classes. So we will be inside of this field and I will talk about this field <laughs> about the information processing in this area okay you understand F easy easy e easy what uh, what you need to understand it will be kind of uh, classes and on these classes I will talk my speech okay that's all it is and uh, some people like seven eight to eight people will listen to me our lecturer also our people like Aigun also will be Nastya also will be Ksusha also will be another people Dima and uh, other and Tatiana and also other people and also our lecturer yes and I said before and also Ksusha I said already and also Daniel will be there and also Julia and different people from our class yes I named them, it is our names of people, it is uh, nice uh, to mention them, it is a uh, respect to them. And uh, let's talk about our work, what do I have? Right now I don't have like so much of things, because I will write it right now, and uh, it will be my referatus. Referatus in Russian language is like a work, do you have it in Russian, in English? Referat, we call it in Russian, it is like a reference, essay, yes. I will write my essay right now, oh Jesus, I opened right now, Premiere Pro on my computer, sorry, one moment, uh, yes, I clicked, uh, <laughs> misclicked to another window, okay, let's talk, <laughs> I hope uh, that uh, two minutes was, uh, you are nice uh, to communicate with me, and now you understand what I do, and now I want to present to you what I prepared already inside of my head, like thoughts, and it will help me to structureize it, for you it will give some of the food of knowledge, it will have nutrition for you, like uh, what's inside of our neurons it is like metaphorical thing that i said right now food for our brains actually it is like food we eat with our mouth yes and uh, mouse but it is actually ear ear food that you listen right now and you wish you see the visual elements of my heads uh, of my head and also of my hands and etc okay information processing what is it first of all let's start from it information processing it is when we look at the text and we kind of analyze what's the part of text we have we have GRR Tolkien what we, can we see only by reading GRR Tolkien that Tolkien it is his last name yes and GRR it is abbreviation of his of his like uh, surnames and also about his first name and something like this also we can see this letter also we can see this and this and this and this and this and two also we can see that this is placed upper and this is placed lower in this it means that it means something and also it is with uppercase like larger and also it is uh, with lower a little bit maybe here we can say the return of the king here's the written and we can say that the t and r and k they are written in uppercase it is already says uh, to us something at least for example if you read some german text then by reading the uppercase you can say that you are reading nouns yes nouns like uh, animal or maybe you have uh, ah, uh, this apple apple dear apple dear apple apple will be with uppercase yes schriftsteller the book writer the the uh, writer it is uh, the new thing and also bu buche buchen i think that's so book book in english one moment Kniga in Russian language, Buchen, yes, Buchen, it is uh, what you, Buchen, 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 it is uh, what you call it uh, in German, uh, about pronunciation you need to check it uh, to to be more correct, like uh, what I said, but actually Schriftsteller and also uh, 
No, 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 it's a hluf balloons. Hluf balloons, it is our balloons that we have. It is, they are written with uppercase. It is already something that we can say about words. Also, we have something like bigger than only words. We have sentences. Inside of the sentences, we have the specific words, specific exclamation marks, expressions. We have different nouns and also the permutations of words and also the sequence and order, unordered things things and also specific order of words. In Russian we don't have specific order of words, you can kind of say it how how you want. In English sometimes you have, sometimes not. In like uh, Shakespearean language uh, you maybe have specific type of how you say words, like Yoda, Master Yoda, you can say some phrases and uh, phrases you can say, my man, and, uh, <laughs> and something like this. And here is uh, too, you can say what's uh, what's the sequences of them, what's this part of text is saying to you, and by it you can create the communicative competences. Already we can introduce this meaning of the communicative competences. Actually, what is it? It is uh, the ability to to communicate, to have a effect, to have an effective communication to each other. For example, I speak with you, and we have specific goal. For example, we want to build a car. Company. Or we want, for example, create a project, so something to bring value to the people, and we want to create maybe robots, or maybe we want to build a building, or construct a building, yes, or we want to write a book together, it is collaboration, and communicative competence, it is when we can do this effectively, effectively, uh, it means that with less time, we can kind of do this faster, and uh, it is uh, about communicative competences, and also with having also effectiveness and productiveness in this meaning that we have a good time together, for example, we understand each other and something like this. And through the reading you can improve it and through the texts. Texts actually it is not only books, uh, actually yes it is books, we can say the text, what is it? It is books, it is essays, it is papers, also you can say the text it is diagrams because we can read them too and actually we can we can say that this text uh, in some meaning, because uh, in a meaning of philology, in a meaning of linguistics, sometimes text we can call even the monument that we can read. Actually, it is specific form of information that we have, it is color to, it is the text, sometimes we can say it, at least our lecturer said to us that diagrams, table sheets, it is text too, and we can believe in it, because we can read kind of, we can see to the diagram and we can read it as a book, and we can connect them in a meaning of like, we see the diagram, yes, we have the table sheet, some of the data, and we can produce some sentences through this, yes, you understand it, and the same with the code of programming, sometimes you read it and you kind of understand what it does, and actually it is information that you kind of think and in a specific manner, in a specific way, in, and it is the same, it is kind of language of, a, of the text, because uh, we have Russian language, we, uh, we in Russia we have Russian language, in your country you have too, but uh, mostly you speak in English, sometimes if you are from America and uh, from UK and from Britain, yes, Mo and uh, from Australia and from uh, South Africa, you speak uh, mostly. I I'm not sh I'm not fully sure about uh, South Africa in cur in my current moment, but actually in the different places of our world, the main language it is English. Yes, kind of international. We can say ex except of India and except of uh, also China. Yes, we we can say that English it is most popular and also except of uh, Spanish. Okay, you understand that English it is used and uh, we can, we have specific syntax there and specific syntax in Indonesian and Malaysian and also Chinese, Japanese, some hieroglyphs and also some of the things and uh, different writing systems we have and uh, it is about it. Yes, you, you understand. And uh, you can read them differently and understand differently and to look at them differently and information processing actually it is understanding how it is written by detecting specific specific patterns of the text for example you have always repeating like I word 
like I, it means only letter I, it means that uh, maybe it means something. You, I, I imagine that you don't know English fully right now, yes? And you are reading text and you see a lot of I, 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 and a lot of you, 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 and a lot of we, we, we. It means something that it is super repetitive, super a lot of the, the probability of the, like, distribution, it is highly, high number of them. It means something, it weights something, like, a lot. And you kind of guess, wow, it is repeats, 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 repeats repeats and even if you are maybe from another country you can kind of guess maybe it's something like noun because nouns they are super re re repetitive or maybe it is pronoun yes and maybe yes it is pronoun because we sometimes have names and uh, pronouns they are super repetitive words like you i and and also we they are super repetitive okay you understand it yes one moment need to drink water hmm? here's we have by the way a russian and here's in English, it is translation of the Svetoy Istochnik in Russian, or in your language, the saying spring. It is uh, actually how it is called. Spring we call we can call as a specific uh, like deformation deformation tool, or we can say that spring it is our life. Or spring actually here is Svetoy Istochnik. Istochnik it is uh, like the specific tool when we can get water and drink it. Okay, let's come back to our topic. Our topic is information process information processing of the text. As a means, okay, uh, one moment. Information processing of the text as a means of forming the communicative uh, communicative competence of students. Yes. Okay. We have students. Who are they? Need to determine. The students. It is listeners mostly. L mostly listeners, and also they are kind of who are going to schools, who are going to universities, who are going to some courses of our of our world. They are learning something from the lecturer, from the practitioner from the person who is kind of their supporter their coach their kind of guru yes and uh, he, they learn from them and the text processing information processing is the is the kind of individual part of their work okay we kind of can say that uh, yes sometimes they can work grouply with groups uh, like uh, with Johnny and with Sally and also with Regina and also with Jackie and also with Fiona and also with uh, Carl and uh, Kyle and uh, we can sit each other uh, like we can see uh, sit together and we can kind of communicate and uh, think about the information of the text and we can uh, do this uh, mostly we do this by Ourself and sometimes we can we can have the supporter who can speak with us about this text and uh, Actually what I wanted to say how and uh, need to need need to need to say also about how can we improve our communication competence through the through what we read in paragraphs we notice parts of it and in our public speaking public speaking in this meaning it is uh, like equals to the equals to the communication communication act because so when you are public speaker you are actually the speaker and uh, when we have the communication act we have the speaker and we have the listener yes okay again we have the communication act and in this communication act you have the listener and also you have the speaker and s when you are in a role of the speaker for example you are communicating uh, let's imagine the situation we have the we have the John, yes, and we have the Sally. John and Sally, they are communicating. They are communicating right now, yes. John says something to Sally. In this situation, when John says something to Sally, John is uh, the person who is speak, uh, who is the speaker, and uh, the Sally is the listener. She listens to the words of him and does information, information processing right now. And it is the same as uh, from reading books when we read some some words and we are analyze what they are saying and something like this what's the parts of it what's the intonation and when we read we sometimes can apply different uh, different uh, like intonation yes mostly we, we apply them while speaking but by by reading we sometimes can do this also we can think about what's the topic she speak what's the se i imagine that you are selling you are listening what's the topic john speaks about what's the what's the meanings of these words yes you can apply it and also about uh, yes i was saying about public speaking equals the 
the speaker of the communication act yes when you are speaking you are actually the introducing to the people and by the information information uh, processing of the text you can read the text you can apply this data and you can kind of show it to the people that's why it is important and how can you uh, right now the question how can you use your information processing what's the tools of information processing first of all you can read fully and uh, you can read full the text and kind of analysis and you fully read kind of you introduce it uh, briefly reading then you kind of read by parts first part second part third part fourth part fifth part and you analyze them then you analyze first part to the whole second part to the whole third part to the whole and it is analyzing of them and actually the parts of the parts you can analyze to the whole it is hermeneutic circle hermeneutic circle it is when you analyze the whole part and then you analyze the small parts of it it is uh, one more thing and uh, how can you analyze it it is uh, through the topic that you read you need to know what's the topic what's the author that you read what's the epoch what what's the age when it was written like what's the time when it was written what's the, what were the condition when it was written by someone like what what is it yes and what's the metaphors uh, Th that are available for those times that we are applied in those times like what was commonly used and what they use what the author uses and it is the same as communicative process and uh, when you analyze it in the in the our communication time then you can kind of analyze it fully and how can you analyze information you can analyze it through the rewriting retelling also you can analyze it through the writing for example and so you can type it retyping the information also some guesses you can do asking questions you can you can do and actually what's uh, the goal of my of my speech it is uh, what's the point of it that by information analysis that we read we can create the communicative competences of the students because they can analyze it and they can think about it when you think when you analyze when you when you retell it in your words when you ask correct or maybe incorrect for a specific result uh, because incorrect question is a correct question too but it is applied for a specific specific situation it is kind of effectiveness for the different results that we want to get and uh, when we read the text uh, it is actually the process of the communication in the in the same way because you communicate with an author and uh, when you think about it it is actually the communication when you read only you are a listener when you read an analysis it is the communication act I hope you understand. Again, I will repeat it to understand it better, to understand it to you better and also like uh, exclamation emphasizes uh, better, exclamation po point uh, and uh, let's again. When you read it and only read it, it is the listening part. When you read it and when you analyze it and when you retell it and when you ask questions, it is actually the communication park, uh, part in your park, <laughs> park of the communication. It is uh, the communication a part of, uh, of the reading. And so the same when you speak and actually when you speak, it is what you can add. You can add the voice different levels of the voice and actually when you even read you can do some voices inside of your head, head. and also you can read the text out loud with different uh, types of things and you can speak with <laughs> with the text you can record video you can do some of the place uh, like place uh, right place yes when you can do kind of your Shakespeare or maybe Homer or maybe you or you are here with Iliad or maybe some of the Dante Alighieri thing and you are kind of doing some of the theater here, amphitheater, people are here, Socrates, Archimedes and also Plato and they are watching you ancient Greek time. Guys, everybody. Yes, and okay, I hope that you had understood my talk. If yes, let, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. If uh, you have some questions, you let me know too. And uh, the main point is uh, that information processing of the text, it helps a lot to us us to form the communicative competence of the students because when they analyze it is 
even better because reading is good yes and sometimes we can kind of subconsciously analyze we always subconsciously something analyze but when we kind of speak inside of our head about what we read and speak in a manner of like analyzing parts analyzing this this paragraphs analyzing the the sequences of paragraphs arrays lists of them like dimensions and also some manifolds and rings and groups gr rings in a meaning of mathematics like the the sets subsets of the book and also sub and also sets of the books and also sets of the authors and also authors of this epoch uh, and also some sequences for for example we can analyze the time of 80 80 oh, oh yes 18 1800 years and 80 1850 50 years like uh, 1800 years and 1850s and uh, the period between of them interpolation of the time when we connect them and uh, actually it is the period of time from this from 8 8 1800 to 1850 you can analyze the period of time and who was writing there and who were their idols for this people who was writing it and also their diaries you can analyze and also their their, their thoughts, what they think about uh, everything, and what's the conditions, what's the obstacles maybe we were, and what's the different, uh, like, environment when they were writing. It is, it's the, the important part, guys. And you can, actually, you can realize it uh, through the writing in JavaScript, in Kotlin, in Swift UI, and uh, in C++, C Sharp, Python, programming languages, you can re realize it there, and also you can kind of do analysis is everywhere you can do this also in databases maria db it is one of the software and also in excel you can do with columns and rows and with uh, diagrams and it is another story for another for another videos so i hope that you understand it and uh, it is actually good actually amazing and also it is all about our picture of the world, uh, like how we see it and how we look at this, because we can look at this picture, at this book in a meaning of calculus, for example, imagine that we have some axis, axis x, uh, axis y and axis e e x here and also some of the z here, yes, x y z and uh, we have them and this orthogonal system and we have this object we have quaternions and also we can analyze uh, we can analyze it and form of the book and actually but actually we analyze uh, mostly of the letters and the letters can mean everything because they are symbols too and every each character look t o l k i e n it is different characters and also punctuation marks and commas and also dots and also some of the brackets brackets, uh, curly brackets, rounded brackets, and also triangular brackets, we can look at the, them and uh, it is super amazing. And also some of the colons, uh, colons, semicolons too, it is good. Yes, and ha also some of the s slashes and uh, tilde <laughs> meanings and different languages. Yes, it is good to analyze things and uh, to improve our competences. Yes, and it is the work that uh, people can do in their own time, because in their own time it is the most valuable time sometimes to, to do. For, for me at least it is, uh, but sometimes, yes, sometimes with people it is amazing, sometimes uh, like when you are analysis by yourself it is kind of combination of the world. Yes, Improve Cell Daily, hello world, <laughs> and uh, I love you world, see you next time, Improve Cell Daily, bye bye, you are a nice guy or girl, yes, Improve Cell Daily, bye.